Hi everyone, in this video, I wanna share how to be seen by more shoppers. I'm Brian from Canopy Management, a multi-service advertising and marketing agency that has helped over 20,000 brands, just like yours, find the right e-commerce solutions to sell their products on Amazon. Now, today's topic, you're gonna to be learning as far as like how to use your image in order to stand out from the competition, really grab the attention of the shopper so that you can get that first step in getting them over to your product listing to convert them to a sale. Now, a quick ask, if you want specialized help for your brand, comment on this video or simply book a call directly with me. I'll put the link below. Taking action on what you learned today will get you on the right path for your business. Let's get started now with today's video on one of my latest Amazon e-commerce strategies, how to be seen by more shoppers. Now, there's a couple of questions that first come to mind when we start talking about how to be seen by more shoppers and using the main image in order to do that. First one is, why does my product main image need to stand out or get noticed? Well, most of it has to do with shoppers have become numb to what they've seen on Amazon, on, on most websites, in fact. The amount of digital overload that most humans experience these days with cell phone devices and computers, TVs, uh, it basically it trains them in order to start blocking out information. It's a way to protect the brain from overload and overwhelm, right? So what does that mean on Amazon? Well, on Amazon, if you think about your specific product niche, when somebody searches for the, your main keyword on Amazon, what happens? A bunch of your, your products, your competitors' products return in the search results, okay? Along with a bunch of ads, a bunch of links to uh, menus, a bunch of side advertisements, uh, video ads, um, other products that are unrelated, and it's just like there's just hundreds and hundreds of things for them to look at, right? That turns into thousands of data points, and eventually the brain just has to shut it off and just stop seeing very specific things. That's where this topic is really going to help you as far as gaining that shopper's attention, okay? So because uh, this typical shopper is going to just scroll right past, sometimes even mindlessly, especially if they're on their cell phone and they're using, uh, you know, they're just using their thumb to scroll past listings, well, oftentimes they're just looking at the images. And it's not until something grabs their attention, pulls them out of this, you know, mindless scroll that they actually start paying attention. That needs to be you. Okay, that needs to be your product and your main image that grabs their attention, has them pause for a split second, because then they may take the next step, which is to then consider what does your title state. Now, I'm going to cover title in a different video, but today let's talk about how to make your main image stand out from the competition. Now, let's talk about the second question here. What makes my main image stand out from the competitive listings? Well, the from studies that we've done and have been done in the industry, we know that there's certain things that trigger the human eyeball to gravitate toward an object or an image or text or things like that. Typically, it's going to be the first one is going to be motion, right? Now, if you think about the search result page on Amazon, motion is probably only going to occur in a sponsored brand video ad, which is a little bit farther down the page. It's not going to catch their attention right away. However, it is a very good idea for you to have a sponsored brand video ad that can run on that page one because the motion is going to grab their attention very quickly. Second, it's going to be color pop, color contrast. Things like bright red, bright blue, bright, bright green tend to catch the shopper's eye. Now, that only works if your bright color pop or your high contrast image is substantially different from what the rest of the competition is doing. That's going to be my biggest point. I'm going to tell you, you've got to stand out from the competition, not blend in with the competition, right? Do the opposite of what everybody else is doing. The third on, on as far as catching shoppers' attention. Now, there's about 10 of these things, right? I'm just going to talk about the first three here. The third one tends to be whether things are cluttered or stark. In other words, whether there's a bunch of white space around the main image or there's a whole bunch of clutter around the main image. Uh, it basically, what that means is that if you've got a whole bunch of accessories around one main product and everybody is using it, that's a whole lot of clutter. clutter. That's a whole lot of more information overwhelm that your competition is putting onto the shopper. 
if you come in with a an image that has a lot of white space and goes very contrast, very different from what the competition, a shopper's going, uh, shopper's eye is going to gravitate toward that. Okay, so now let's talk about a specific example. Now, I just pulled this one out of some of the one of the top searches for the last quarter on Amazon. So I'm just going to go through and search for a popular product, and that is a smart curtain opener. What I'm initially looking for here is what is the common pattern that I'm then going to go and do the opposite of. Okay, so what are things, what's the kind of a common theme that you're seeing that's going to create into a blur for the shopper? So if we scroll through these listings, uh, these are, this, this product is basically an item that helps open and close um, window curtains at certain times of the day, you know, maybe for window shading or for mood effect. Uh, and so this is actually something I invented about uh, 30 years ago, I think it was. Uh, and I didn't take action at the time, didn't bring it to market. And you know what? Here it is sitting right in front of me. My loss. I, I missed that opportunity. But this is an opportunity for you learn to learn how to stand out from your competition. Now, the common pattern that I'm seeing along here is if we scroll down and look for some of the common things here, if we think about the top three, motion, color, and white space, okay, or, or motion color and clutter, depending on how you want to look at it. Now, motion is really the only thing, the only thing is motion is this video ad, and this, and that looks a little bit, I don't know how compelling that is, I'll, I'll get to that, that's a whole separate video all by itself, but the common thing that I'm seeing here is there's lack of color. There's, there's hardly any color, right? The color that your eye gets drawn to, and maybe you have already in looking at this, is you see that there is some blue on a mobile app uh, showing up in the main image. There is a some uh, red or brown on the limited time deal. There's a red brown on, on a temporarily reduced price. Uh, there's a bright green on a coupon code, right? These are things that are creating some color pop. Of course, the orange of the bestseller badge is always a popular one for increasing engagement, but that's part in because shoppers, their eye goes to it. It's not because it's the greatest product. It's because it grabs the shopper's attention more often. Okay. So one of the things that I would look at this, I, you know, certainly uh, I would definitely have that sponsor brand video running in the middle, right? I would stand out from the competition probably by using things if I'm going to uh, focus my image. Now, one of the things I don't like about most images that sellers bring uh, put up here is it's too hard to see what's going on. They try to put too much information into it. If you look at this one sponsored ad, the main image here, I don't know what's going on here. It looks like it's got multiple lines going on here, a chart. It shows the entire thing, the entire width of the, uh, the, the track for the curtain. And there's a whole bunch of images and symbols and logos and that kind of stuff stuffed down below. It means nothing to me because I can't see it, right? Uh, some of these other ones, I see two devices and a mobile app, okay? Well, the mobile app is what caught my attention in, in part because, hey, wouldn't it be cool if I could control my curtains remotely from my mobile app while I'm traveling, right? That just kind of comes to mind as a benefit to me. There's a hint there. Second thing on this is there's a blue color pop that shows up into in this second uh, mobile app. Now you notice there's a first mobile app over here too, but it doesn't have any color. It's just black and gray and white and just bleh, right. And most of these are the same: black, white, gray, black, white, gray, black, white, gray. Every once in a while, you get a little bit of a green color pop or a blue color pop. What I would do is this this third image here actually had something smart that they did. They just executed it incorrectly. Now, what I would do on this is if I know that I don't have any motion in my main image until I get down to the video ads, the second thing is going to be that color contrast. I would throw in some serious color. Now, my product may be white, it may be gray, whatever the case is, right? There's no change in my product, right? But if I'm able to get away with showing an image that has either some kind of a symbol to it or maybe a, a brightly colored box in the background, not the same size as the product, don't have it all the way up front, but just kind of in the background so that it just catches the eye, the splash of color that catches the eye of the shopper and gets them to pause for a second to have them look at your image and read your title. The, the other thing is if you can get away with it is 
this example of a curtain here, I wouldn't have used a little washed out blue curtain. I would have used something a bright blue, bright green, bright, bright red, any of those three colors, not all of them, but any of those three colors in order to grab the eye of the shopper because it's definitely different than what my competition is doing. The other thing is I would probably have, instead of all this clutter down below, I'd remove all this clutter of extra symbols and everything. I would have the close up of the actual product. If I had a mobile app, I would definitely highlight, highlight the mobile app, but I wouldn't make the mobile app uh, the same size as the main product. The main product always should be the first forefront thing that you notice um, when you're actually looking at, the, you know, evaluating the image, right? This is what I'm actually getting. Oh, in the background, oh, look, there's a there's a phone app, you know, kind of smaller in the back corner there, but it, maybe it has a color pop in the screen. Maybe I've got this curtain so that I know, oh, this goes with curtains. That's what I'm associating with, right? And it's got a color pop in that curtain. Go opposite of this pattern, which is washed out, and go with a color pop. If there was more, some of these have, they're kind of like, there's some white space in the middle. It's not as a, a big of a difference in, in between clutter and white space. So not a whole lot um, I would change on that. This is an easy one. This is just about throwing in some splashes of color in order to get the shopper to see my listing. All right, so based on what you've learned today, you've decided to take action, hopefully, either implementing yourself or seeking the right partner to implement for you. My agency have grown sales on Amazon by over $1 billion. I'm exactly who you want to talk to to see if there's a good fit for outsourcing your marketing and advertising on the Amazon sales channel. I've put my contact information below. Let me help you on the right path for your business this year.